Sean Hickey, our guest now, and uh, Sean, you are a captain on offense, but I think it's safe to say Terrell Hunt was your leader. What's it like to, to lose him for a, a month to a month and a half, at least out on the field with you? Uh, it's big because whenever, like, obviously, the, once the quarterback uh, establishes he is the quarterback, he's, he was be played, for, uh, he's had like, what, 19 consecutive starts, uh, 18 consecutive starts. So uh, losing that sense of familiarity and, uh, and just him as a person, like he, like when he's out there, he's in the lead, he's in command, and uh, that's something that's big for the offense. And when to lose something like that, it hurts. But at the same time, we just have to move forward and be able to um, encourage along the other t the other guys and uh, be able to take the, the load off uh, for them, so they can have a better chance to succeed. Yeah. Speaking of moving forward, it's uh, no Terrell this week. Uh, a change up on the coaching staff as a leader, as a senior, and as a captain. How do you step up and uh, lead the guys through that? You just have to be able to explain them the situation, what needs to be done to have us our best chance to have good results on Saturday. So we just have to, once we had, we got the news on both, you just you accept it, you deal with it for the short time being, and then you move on. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what we were trying to get the guys to do, just go back as big, um, business as usual, attack the week, have good practices, know what you're doing going into Saturday so we can have the best chance to succeed. All right, going into this game without Terrell, yeah. Terrell had some certain strengths as being a guy who could run the ball, being a big guy uh, as a quarterback. Without him out there and those strengths, how might that change the offense uh, with these different quarterbacks? In? It's obviously going to change. Uh, whenever you lose a player like Terrell, things will change. And, uh, mm -hmm. And, and, and some of the threats that he presents may not be uh, as profound. So we just have to do a better job as an offense executing plays and, uh, and making sure that what the play is designed to do, we make sure it gets done that way. And that lies upon every other person, all offense, especially the offensive line. So that's what we have to, especially, we have to take care of that. You saw Austin, AJ, Mitch, they've been battling for this backup job for months going back to the spring now. How, how do you think that battle can help them out now that it's going to be on the field that they've been uh, fighting for this spot for so long? Well, they've had pressure because whenever you're, out, you're in a competition, there's always pressure and pressure to succeed. So obviously in a game, there's a lot of pressure. So uh, going through all that pressure that they had in, in that competition is going to make it their job on Saturday be a little bit easier. All right, and on Saturday, it's Florida State, the number one. They're the defending national champs, and we know what happened when you guys went down to Tallahassee last year. What changes from that game last year to this game this year, and what do you have to do against them? Uh, just We have to go out there and play the best football we possibly can. Last year, obviously, they're the national champs for a reason. They're a very, very good football team. They basically blew out everybody they played. So you learn from that experience and you try to and you and understand like okay that's that was the number one team in the nation we just played against them now we have to use that uh use that experience and uh as a benefit for the season so just going out there and knowing what it was like what the type of players they are how good they are and just be able to use that uh to help try to better yourself uh, uh the next year all right sean thanks for joining us and uh, good luck out there saturday thank you